Hello, this is Oksana from Alabama, your favorite realtor in Mobile, and this is Monica. Monica is the goddess of house loans. <laughs> and he's gonna be her number so you can call her text if you want to buy a house. So I'm gonna move this closer and we're gonna talk about Monica. So um, please tell us about yourself. How long you been in this profession to be a lender? Hello everybody, my name is Monica Owen. I've been doing mortgage lending for over 30 years, right in Mobile, Alabama. However, I am licensed in Alabama, Florida, Mississippi, and Louisiana. So absolutely, I've been able to accommodate some people that uh, call over the years and they've got a family member and they live in these other states and I've been able to accommodate them. Uh, so again, I specialize in every type of loan that uh, you could possibly want. And I even do commercial lending now. Uh, so yes, I do all of the FHA, USDA, conventional, uh, and FHA loans, and I can also do commercial lending. Um, so absolutely reach out to me with any questions. I am very hands-on with all of my clients. I am available 24 hours, 7 days a week. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please reach out. Yeah, that's because she doesn't sleep, yeah. <laughs> She's a workaholic machine. So, Monica, tell me, like, wh where, where you born, your education, like, are you from Alabama? Yes, I am born and raised right here in Mobile, Alabama. I've been married for over 30 years. I have two lovely kids, so I am empty nesting. Yes, mm -hmm. I am empty nesting. Um, so absolutely, I've got plenty of time uh, to accommodate all of my realtors and their customers and get these loans closed, get you into your house. Well, tell me, please, uh, let's talk about FHA versus conventional, about credit score. What kind of credit score you have to have to get FHA and versus conventional loan? Okay, so most people always end up doing the FHA loans. The FHA loans are the most lenient loans. They are for people that have had lower credit scores, some uh, income you know, issues, uh, some gaps in employment. Um, so absolutely the FHA loans are definitely what most people end up going into because of number one, their credit scores, Number two, their debt to income ratios, what has to do with their debts and what type of mortgage payment that they're looking to get. And also, um, you know, some delinquencies and student loans and, and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. The FHA loans do allow people to have higher back end ratios. FHA loans do allow people to have uh, some gaps in employment. Um, and so that is why most, most people do end up doing FHA. Mm -hmm. However, again, you know, you've got your conventional loans that I can do as well. Those are definitely for better credit scores, lower debt to income ratios, um, and, you know, a little bit more down on the conventional loans. And then you have the USDA loans that are more rural areas. And then, of course, our veterans. We cater to our veterans. Uh, if they have their certificate of eligibilities, uh, that's 100% financing. But of course, even veterans have to be credit worthy. Some veterans feel that if they have that certificate of eligibility, it is an automatic they can get into a VA house with 100% financing. No, ma'am, no, sir, that is not what that means. Uh, VA loans, the verbiage is if you can find a lender that will loan you the money on a VA loan, then yes, the VA will back it 100%. So again, you have to find a lender based on whatever your credit is, whatever your income is, whatever the house is that you're choosing, you have to find a lender that's willing to loan you funds under the VA guidelines, and then yes, they will back you 100%. So tell us, Let's let's think about the customer who never bought a house before and doesn't know much about credit scores. Okay. Tell us about credit scores from the bottom to the best and Okay. Yeah. So 
how I have done uh, over the years is anybody that has ever reached out to me uh, and want to buy a house, honestly, yes, we can have a conversation. But the next step is going to be an application. In doing a mortgage loan, the first step is to have your credit pulled. It never fails. People that call, uh, they may feel they're ready, that they don't have anything going on with their credit. They are good to go. However, a lot of times they have forgotten about that automobile repossession. Uh, they have forgotten about those student loans. They feel like on the automobile repossession that because they gave the car back or it was picked up that they don't have any responsibility on that vehicle. And that is not true. Please stop listening to that myth. It is a myth that if you turn in a car that you are no longer uh, responsible for that balance. That is not true. Uh, if you have those student loans and just because you're not making a payment that it is in deferred status, that you're not responsible for any payment, that is not true. Now, on the repossessions, whether they are voluntary or involuntary, those automobile lots, those car lots are going to sell those cars and whatever the balance is remaining, it is still your responsibility. No matter if the car was a lemon, no matter if you were in a divorce, I see a lot of this, guys, as far as repossessions on cars. I see a lot of this. So you still have some responsibility on those repossessions. What happens is we will look at that balance and whether you're making a payment or not, we are going to count a 5% payment on that balance. As long as... As long as that 5% payment does not affect your debt to income ratio, you're still able to qualify with your other debts and your income in the house that you're buying, we can move forward, okay? On the student loans, we will count a 0.5% payment on every student loan um, based on whatever the balance is. That's on an FHA loan, and you have to be able to qualify with that half of 1% payment on the balance of your student loans. Um, now, during COVID, um, there were some things called income-based repayment plans that you could go under all day long. I did several closings with people that they were already on the income base. They call it IBR plan. Those people were able to buy a house because if you were on the IBR plan, we could use that payment. You know, if you owe $100,000 and the net payment says $27, we can use just that $27 payment and qualify you and close on a house as long as everything is in line. However, if that $100,000 payment, uh, if you owe money, okay, on that $100,000 payment, then we got to count a $500 payment roughly. Sometimes that could be okay with your debt-to-income ratio, or sometimes it can kick you out of qualification. There is a lot involved in when you're doing an application. That's why you want the professional to take an application and look over your file completely to see where you're at. Mm -hmm. What's the lowest credit score people can get the house with? Okay. We will look at as low as a 580 credit score. Um, however, that 580 credit score, you know, you still can't have a lot of negative. You have to be able to be approved in our underwriting system. So as long as you are approved, and some people are, you know, you may have a 580 credit score because you let a couple of things go past due, but now those accounts are current. And, you know, you're just allowing some time and need some time to get those credit scores back up. So I can go down to as low as a 580 credit score on an FHA loan. Mm -hmm. And on a USDA loan, I can go down to as low as a 620 credit score. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so for USDA no money down, you have to have 620 credit score. Yes. It has to have one yes. credit score. Yes. But now USDA, you know, it's you know, it's a great loan, but there are a lot of guidelines with it. Your back end ratio cannot be better than forty one percent. Uh versus on FHA loans, you can probably go up to as high as a fifty six point nine percent. So that's huge. 
Back end ratio is huge with USDA. Mm -hmm. Got to have a 620 credit score. They do not like to see derogatory credit hardly at all. You know, of course, you've got your VA loans. You know, you got your VA and you got your conventional loans. Is it easy to on, get a VA loan? How yeah, about on the, the credit score? Right. On the VA loans, you know, you can have like a, a 580 or a little bit lower credit score on a VA loan. Uh, the main thing on a VA loan is we want to run you through that underwriting system to see if it approves you. Okay. I had a phone call from a customer who was driving by my listing. And her question like threw me off because I didn't know what to answer. I told her, talk to Blender. I gave her your number. I don't think she called you because she said she's been in America for two years. Mm -hmm. She's working for like military. She's in the military. She came on a B1 visa. So it's like a business visa. So she's in the military, but she said she doesn't have social security number. She has like EIN number. Okay. She has to have a social security number. Okay, she and so she it. said, and I'm like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know, and then I right. sent her. You know, you can just, you know, call me or text mm -hmm. me. Yeah. But yeah, she has to have a social security number because that's how we're going to pull her credit in our United States system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And surely she's filed for something to get the social security Yes, number. like, like to yeah. me, I was surprised that because you can get social security number even if you're not allowed to work. Mm -hmm. To me, that question was like, Mm -hmm. Like, I, I didn't believe you 100% mm -hmm. because to get EIN number, you have to have social security number. Okay, yeah. So, like, and, mm -hmm. like, everybody gets social security number, even if they're not allowed to work. And right. it just says, like, Correct. for student visas. Mm -hmm. So, to me, it mm -hmm. was weird. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. But uh, sometimes I get questions that I don't know. Is, are people trolling me, wasting mm -hmm. my time? Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. happens. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so those are on the VA loans, you know. And then you've got, like I said, those conventional loans are very good. Um, you know, the conventional loans are very good because if you're putting down 20% on the conventional loans, you will not have mortgage insurance. But the great thing is with the fact that now COVID is over, uh, you know, the government has come in several times, the interest rates are a little bit higher. Well, now the mortgage insurance is less. So to me, that makes up a lot on the interest rates being, you know, high fives, low sixes, uh, that mortgage insurance is 30% cheaper now. So what that's about, really helpful. Thank you. What about this program that Feds declared about people have to pay higher interest rates if they have super duper good score? That's what recently... Um, um, you know, there, there are a lot of things said. The main thing is, is we put you in our system and we quote you what the rate is based on whatever your credit score and whatever mm -hmm. you're trying to get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the highest credit score somebody had when you did the mortgage for them? Oh, gosh. Did anybody have I the don't highest? See, I don't see many 800s, but yes, I've seen some 800s. Yeah. That over the are, years. Uh, right? Yeah, I've seen some 800s over the years. Just a few here and there. So yeah. if somebody comes and they have 800 credit score, does it mean they can get lower interest rates? No. No. No, I thought they no, will get the not. best deal. No, because the interest rates are higher now for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're, you know, they cannot discriminate on, you know, if you've got a higher credit score. I mean, you can get a different kind of loan and you might have a cheaper interest rate. Absolutely. But still, your interest rate is higher than what it was a year or so ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And this was Monica. Monica, with what's the name of your bank? Guaranteed rate. Guaranteed rate bank. Thank you, Monica. If you have any questions, write in comments. Monica, you'll work on your mortgage. Yes. Bye-bye.